July 2024 delivered groundbreaking news from Lockheed Martin. The hypersonic Mako missile can now be deployed from the internal bays of both the F-35 and the F-22 Raptor, setting a new benchmark in missile technology. Named after the ocean's fastest shark, this cutting-edge weapon is engineered for unparalleled speed, versatility, and precision. Designed for multi-mission capabilities, it is poised to revolutionize modern warfare, enhancing the offensive power of the most sophisticated stealth fighters on the planet. Its origins date back to 2022, aligning with the start of the U.S. Air Force's stand-in attack weapon, SIAW program. This program was initiated to develop a missile capable of neutralizing key adversary defenses, including missile systems and air defense networks, which are essential components of anti-access area denial strategies. Initially, the program awarded development contracts to Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and L3 Harris Technologies, marking the beginning of a competitive phase. Ultimately, the main contract was awarded to Northrop Grumman, which proposed a different, seemingly more cost-effective weapon system. Lockheed Martin, having invested approximately $35 million in research and development to create a missile that could meet the rigorous demands of the SIAW program, saw potential beyond the program's original scope. Recognizing the broader applications of their missile, they decided to adapt and enhance it. They then presented this evolved version to the U.S. Navy as a versatile, multi-mission platform capable of delivering a wide array of capabilities suitable for immediate operational use. Let's take a closer look at what we know so far about this missile. Measuring 13 feet in length and 13 inches in diameter, it has a total weight of about 1,300 pounds. This includes a 130-pound warhead designed to deliver a significant impact on high-value enemy targets, ensuring effective destruction. One of its most remarkable aspects is its hypersonic speed, capable of exceeding Mach 5. This extraordinary velocity dramatically reduces the time from launch to impact, making it extremely difficult for enemy defenses to intercept. Traditional anti-missile systems struggle to engage targets moving at such high speeds, giving the Mako a considerable advantage in penetrating advanced defense networks. In addition to its speed, it is engineered for exceptional maneuverability. Unlike conventional ballistic missiles that follow a high, predictable arc, the Mako maintains a lower trajectory and can perform complex maneuvers during its flight. This ability makes it extremely challenging for adversaries to track and intercept, as the missile can alter its path to avoid detection and countermeasures. This combination of hypersonic speed and agility ensures that it can effectively engage a wide range of targets, from stationary installations to moving vehicles and vessels. While Lockheed Martin has not disclosed the maximum range of the missile, it is assumed to be in the multiple hundreds of miles, likely at least 200 miles. This estimation is based on the missile's design for the stand-in attack weapon contract, which required significant range capabilities. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. One of the standout features of the Mako missile is its compatibility with a wide array of military platforms, significantly enhancing its operational versatility. Lockheed Martin has rigorously tested this missile on various aircraft through both electronic and physical fit checks. These tests confirmed that the missile can be carried both internally and externally, depending on the platform. Remarkably, it can be carried internally by stealth fighters such as the F-22 Raptor and the F-35AC Lightning II. This capability is groundbreaking, making it the first hypersonic weapon designed for internal carriage by stealth fighters. This internal carriage is particularly significant because it allows these aircraft to maintain their stealth profiles. By carrying the missile internally, the aircraft does not increase its radar cross-section, preserving its stealth characteristics. Additionally, the missile is designed for external carriage on a variety of other aircraft. The F-35B, which has a smaller internal weapons bay due to its vertical lift fan, can still carry the missile on external pylons. This adaptability extends to fourth-generation fighters like the F-15 Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon, F-A-18 Super Hornet, and EA-18G Growler. By being deployable from such a wide range of platforms, this weapon can enhance the strike capabilities of these aircraft, providing significant boosts in both range and speed. Beyond its aerial deployment capabilities, the missile is also designed to be launched from naval and ground platforms, further expanding its operational flexibility. 
It can be deployed from surface ships and submarines equipped with the Mark 41 vertical launch system. This widely used launching platform in the U.S. Navy allows for the quick and efficient integration of the missile into naval operations. This capability ensures that it can be utilized in various maritime scenarios, from anti-ship to land attack missions. Additionally, the potential for ground-based launches adds another layer of flexibility, enabling the missile to be used in a broader range of strategic and tactical situations. Let's now look at its guidance and targeting systems. At the core of its guidance system is the sophisticated multi-mode seeker. This technology integrates several guidance methods to ensure accuracy and versatility. The anti-radiation seeker is designed to home in on enemy radar and electronic signals, making it highly effective against air defense systems and other electronic targets. If the target's radar systems are powered down to avoid detection, the missile can switch to GPS guidance, using satellite data to navigate to the last known location of the target. In addition to these capabilities, the missile employs inertial guidance, which uses internal sensors to track its position and maintain its trajectory. This method is particularly useful in environments where GPS signals might be jammed or unavailable. Furthermore, it features a millimeter wave radar seeker, providing high resolution targeting capabilities. This allows the missile to accurately engage moving targets, such as vehicles and ships, even under adverse weather conditions or in cluttered environments. Another crucial aspect of the missile's targeting capability is its integration with Lockheed Martin's Sniper Advanced Targeting Pods, or ATP. As reported by Sandbox News, these pods are known for their high-definition imagery and precise laser targeting, and have been a critical asset in aerial combat operations for nearly two decades. Recent upgrades to the sniper pods include advanced data sharing and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance functions. These enhancements allow for seamless communication between aircraft equipped with the sniper ATP and the missile. The updated sniper pods feature an advanced and encrypted data link, along with a mobile ad hoc network radio. This technology enables real-time data sharing between fourth and fifth generation aircraft, as well as with ground-based and maritime platforms. For instance, an F-35 equipped with the sniper ATP can identify and track a target deep within contested airspace. The data collected is then relayed to another platform, such as an F-15 or a naval vessel, which can launch the missile based on this precise targeting information. This integration significantly enhances the operational flexibility and effectiveness of the MAKO. The development of this missile not only highlights its advanced capabilities, but also underscores a strong emphasis on cost efficiency and streamlined production. This approach ensures that the missile is both effective and economically viable for large-scale deployment. One of the pivotal strategies in the production is the use of additive manufacturing, commonly known as 3D printing. Lockheed Martin utilizes this system to produce parts that are lighter and stronger than those made with traditional manufacturing methods. This innovative process significantly reduces production time and costs by eliminating the need for extensive tooling and machining. Additive manufacturing also enhances the flexibility of the production process, allowing engineers to quickly prototype and test new designs, making it easier to implement improvements and modifications. Furthermore, the MAKO features a modular design with an open system software architecture, which greatly contributes to its cost efficiency and ease of integration. This design philosophy ensures that the missile's components and systems are constructed in a way that allows for straightforward upgrades and replacements. As new technologies emerge or operational requirements change, the missile can be easily updated without necessitating a complete redesign. The MAKO missile was prominently showcased at the Sea Airspace 2024 exposition, marking its official introduction to the public and the defense community. Positioned as a ready-to-deploy weapon, it awaits further development and formal adoption by the U.S. military. Currently, the U.S. Navy and Air Force are evaluating the missile for inclusion in their arsenals, with potential applications ranging from carrier-based operations to integration with stealth fighters and other combat aircraft. These evaluations will shape the future scale and scope of its deployment. Integrating this hypersonic weapon into existing defense frameworks presents challenges, such as ensuring compatibility with current systems and managing the high costs associated with hypersonic technologies. These challenges are balanced by significant opportunities. Hypersonic missiles like this offer unparalleled speed and precision, 
crucial for countering sophisticated air defenses and enhancing the U.S. military's capability to respond swiftly to threats and penetrate enemy defenses effectively.